Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, let's get into today's show. Wait, before we get into today's show, I wanna make sure that everybody watching this video has subscribed to our channel. If you love Taylor Swift and you like Taylor Swift content, then you have to subscribe to our channel because not only are we gonna be covering everything Taylor Swift, but she has an album coming out in less than a month, so you know there's gonna be a lot of content. And I mean, we're going to be covering the album release, dissecting music videos, lyrics, everything. So if you love Taylor Swift and you want constant content, please subscribe. Okay, now let's get into it. First thing is first, Taylor and Travis, they're still, you know, spending time together in Los Angeles. Um, we know they went to Nobu over the weekend. Well, they also hit the gym for a little sweat session, but it, it doesn't sound like it was a, uh, or it doesn't sound like a controversial thing, but maybe kind of controversial. I don't know. I'll explain and then I'll see what you guys think. So as I mentioned, Taylor and Travis were spotted shutting down one of the Dog Pound locations in LA on Sunday. Now Dog Pound is a, is a gym where a lot of celebrities tend to go to. Taylor has actually mentioned or talked about going there a lot and especially when she discussed her training regimen before preparing for the Eras tour, uh, a lot of that was done at Dog Pound. So it's kind of a high high level um I don't know. I don't know if it, if celebrity gym is the right way to describe it, but a lot of celebrities do go to Dog Pound. So that all sounds fine, right? Them going to the gym. Well, they ended up shutting down the gym and so everybody that was already in the gym had to leave the gym and apparently according to the, the daily mail who got photographs there were people just standing outside of dog pound for those two hours waiting for taylor and travis to finish their workout now on one hand i can understand why taylor and travis would shut down the gym it's probably a safety concern privacy all that kind of stuff but there is something slightly, I don't know, I don't love the idea that they just made a bunch of people leave and have to wait outside before they could go back in again. I wonder if Taylor knew that. I think there's always a disconnect sometimes between like celebrities and then what ends up happening to the average people because I'm assuming that Taylor was like, hey, we wanna go work out, can we go to Dog Pound um, and have like two hour private gym session? And then her people called Dog Pound and they were like, sure, of, of course, because it's Taylor Swift. But they didn't reveal that we actually have people in the gym right now and then we're gonna have to like kick them all out. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something a little bit I don't love about the fact that people had to pick up their stuff and get out in order for them to come waltzing in to, to work out. I don't think it's Taylor's fault, but I don't always love that. We we hear this a lot, especially when a celebrity will call a restaurant to like close down a restaurant. The restaurant will be like, yes, of course. And then they'll end up just kicking out all the people that are, are, are at the place at that time. And you can understand again from a celebrity perspective, like wanting to have a place to themselves and wanting that privacy and security because being a celebrity out in public, it can be exhausting, especially if you're at the level of Taylor Swift. But also it's sort of, it feels wrong to then just be like, all right, all you average Joes need to beat it because we're welcoming a celebrity. So I don't know, I'd be curious to know what you guys think if, if you feel like it's a little bit weird that they then had to like kick everybody out of the gym. Um, but again, Taylor and Travis, I mean, Taylor obviously is prepping to get back onto tour and like, six weeks or so she's gonna be i mean she'll be in europe for like four months so i understand her needing to stay in shape and then obviously i mean travis kelsey is is in the off season but they always have to stay in shape and stay active so makes sense that they would go to the gym okay next story we talked about it yesterday the bahamas taylor and travis photos their vacation well now we have some more insight into where they actually stayed while they were in the bahamas and you will never guess how much money they spent per night to stay where they stayed. So we have some photos courtesy of Airbnb. Um, they ended up staying at the Rosalita house on Harbor Island and it cost $15,000 per night. Yeah, per night. We don't know how long they stayed. We heard it was, it was like a handful of days, but still, I mean, we know Taylor Swift is a billionaire, <laughs> so she can afford it, but I can't even imagine spending $15,000 on like 
a two week vacation, maybe even longer, let alone for one evening. That, I mean, it just goes to show you that there's like levels to what Taylor Swift can do and then what you and I can do on, on a vacation. Um, so this house has six bedrooms, which accommodates up to 12 guests. It features a pool, sprawling terraces, lush gardens, and a fully equipped gym. So, I mean, they were there, just the two of them, but they could have gone with an entire crew of people if they wanted to. I do wonder that sometimes, like, you often hear about celebrities that go on vacation, they get these massive homes, but it's just like them and their partner or their family. And I'm always like, did you need to get a place that big? But I guess if you're Taylor Swift, there's only so many options in terms of like private places that you can find um, that like will definitely sort of keep you safe and uh, I don't know, offer the like accommodations that you probably need because you're a celebrity. And also there was a lot of accommodations at this place. So they had a personal chef, a sous chef, a house manager, three butlers, three housekeepers, three gardeners, beach maintenance workers, and an evening security guard. So they were fully taken care of. Honestly, this sounds like such a dream. I would give anything to just go to a beautiful island by the beach, have a beautiful home, have somebody cook for me, take care of me, <laughs> and you can just fully relax and not worry about a thing. It actually sounds like a dream. And these photos are pretty insane. I mean, I have to imagine they just had the absolute best time ever. And I'm very jealous, frankly. Speaking of the Bahamas, <laughs> There was a viral, viral in quotes, um, video that I think I, I first saw it on TikTok, like on Monday, um, of two people sitting on a giant swing that was kind of like right on the edge of the ocean. And in the video, these two people like sit on the swing, they like then push off and they end up, the swing ends up flipping backwards and the two people end up falling into the ocean. And in the TikTok, it said something like Taylor and Travis in the Bahamas. And it did look like Taylor and Travis, but I hate to break it to people. It wasn't Taylor and Travis. So if you saw that video of two people flipping over in a swing and you thought it was Taylor and Travis, it it's not. Apparently that, that has been around for like a few years. Um, it is weird how closely it does look like the two of them. Um, but unfortunately, it is not, though it would be pretty funny if like the one video that came out of Taylor and Travis on, on vacation was of them flipping off of a swing into the ocean on, on accident. Um, so yeah, that is that for today's show. I would love to know your thoughts on, on all of this, specifically the shutdown of the gym and then also the home on vacation. Like, could you even imagine spending $15,000 on per night to go on vacation because I could not. As always, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.